Hello everybody, my name is Saint Polaris, first name Saint, last name Polaris, and today is a new JonTron video. KFC Conspiracies Down the Chicken Hole. I'm very excited, I'm a big fan of foul orifices. So, I mean, this is right next to Internet Historian's upload, what is it, fucking Christmas again? Anyway, very excited. Let's just jump right into this one. <laughs> so I'm so random and wacky. Sorry, I don't know what's I don't know what's come over me. Hey there, we got another little video in store for you today. But that wouldn't have been possible without the one and only Monster Legends. Monster Legends okay. is awesome free to play John. RPG mobile game that'll put I don't give a fuck about Monster Legends. You happen to be made. Of okay. Oh fuck, what an actual chicken. Avian. An outstanding specimen. You're beautiful, aren't you? You are. Yeah. It's just a shame for you you haven't even made a meat gold. Wow. Oh my god. Crazy editing. Movie magic. I really did not expect that to happen. <clears throat> it's gonna be okay. Everything everything's gonna be okay. Oh no. <laughs> ah. Fried chicken. A delicacy loved the world over. Yes. I love it. You love it. It's the only thing that'll Correct. literally sell itself. That's right. People will give you their hard-earned money, and all you have to do is make it for them. No advertising necessary. But this is America, after all. And where there's a marketing budget, they'll find a way. And mm -hmm. on that very topic, no one's got deeper pockets than the unrivaled king of the coop. Nice. Kentucky Fried Chicken. I love KFC. And KFC, Fuck uh, me. to market their product, they've <clears throat> made some seriously weird stuff. But yeah, KFC movies. has fucked like up. Such classics as a Lifetime original movie starring Mario Lopez as Colonel Sanders. Yep. A video game console that never came out that was meant to keep your chicken warm while you played. Or yep. Cause a house fire or something. I don't know. And who among us could forget about that time they made a Colonel Sanders striptease for moms on Mother's Day? <clears throat> Amazing. Oh my god. Well, what do you think, Boris? Bruh. You did not have to do that. You knew you did not have to do that. How could you have done that? Can you live with yourself? What you've gone and done. Look what you've gone and done here. <laughs> For God's sake, you're a bunch of What you got and done. And of course, to round it all out, there's retro games. We, Gen Z, boomers. We gotta sell chicken to these demographics. Make them fight. <laughs> oh, dead. All right. We got all the time. What the fuck is this? You're already losing, huh? You're the one running out of time. Ah, well. They ask you how what you the are fuck is happening? What is this? Really but in their quest for raising like chicken awareness. Sounds it's from the UK. In their blind dash towards the forbidden fry, something went very, very wrong. That's right. I regret to inform you that KFC has officially gone down the chicken hole. Excuse me? A mini series on the topic of conspiracy theories? Uh, KFC. What? Do better. I ordered chicken, okay? Not a side of misinformation. What? Where is Snopes? So, basically, for the purposes of advertising, KFC for one of their YouTube channels made a mini series on conspiracy theories that oh my god it's because of shane dawson i swear it's probably because of shane dawson that they did this and uh based on the view counts here you can see no one has watched through them even though i have more views than kfc yes i don't know why no one's watched this but i gotta tell you it's an untapped gold mine essentially the format is uh each episode they have two people with supposedly differing opinions on certain controversial topics like flat earth versus hollow earth okay as you can see it's even got the little warning box Bruh. Below there which to me personally is oddly reminiscent of the old explicit content warning from the 90s you know basically it's just a symbol that means hey the dope shit that'll make your grandma have a stroke at the thanksgiving dinner table yeah it's, it's all in here that's what you're looking for what awesome. even is a hollow earth? I've never heard of that one. How many more of these freaking earth shape <clears throat> theories you psychos gonna come up with? What's next? We're gonna get isosceles triangle earth? The hollow earth is a concept proposing that the planet earth is entirely hollow or contains a substantial yeah. interior space. Well, if true, you know, that shouldn't be too hard to test. We can do it right now. Let's put this one to bed, huh? All right, all you hollow earthers out there. Time oh, to no. put your theory to the test. Out in the snow, and too. And the dedication to the bit is incredible. Kind of cringe you didn't think to do this, by the way. Kind of obvious, but let's see what happens. Oh, crap. They were right. So, strap <laughs> so in, dumb. Have a drink, <laughs> drumstick, and a tinfoil hat. 
because we're going down the chicken hole. <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Didn't expect that. Unless you're getting flirty or something. I wouldn't do that again. All right, John, let's just get Some to it. Some of the world's greatest <laughs> cities include the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Were they real? What really what? goes on in the Bermuda Triangle, but more importantly... How did I get all the way up here on this chair by myself? Am I small? Or is the table big? <laughs> Who is this guy exactly? He seems like he's got an awful lot of uh, authority over at this company. Uh, uh -huh. He looks like a bootleg James Corden. Oh my god, I was just gonna... Sure I was James thinking Corden that. He looked like a James Corden type. Just for brevity's sake, from now on, I'll be referring to you, sir, as James Cordon Blue. Basically, okay, yeah, very clever. <laughs> dish, chicken Cordon Blue. Mm -hmm. See, that's it right there. Everyone yeah. knows that. I don't need to explain that. And that's you. Yeah, James yummy. James Cordon Blue. Yes. By the way, can I just say, this guy must seriously know how to sell fried chicken because apparently this ain't his first rodeo, okay? They what? had to go to a hipster pheromone party once in London what? where he snipped soiled clothing and almost actually vomited multiple times. That's disgusting, actually. That's gross. That's fucking gross. What are the KFC I fucking hate that. That's disgusting. I have tried everything in my power to get KFC to tell me what the 11 herbs and spices are. But at this point, they pretty much just won't let me back in the building. I've gotten answers like, who are you? This is corporate. Yep. What do you mean? The secret recipe? No, we're not going to give that to you. Who are Isn't you? it online? It's online somewhere, right? Someone yeah, so recreated it. The game, and they've sent me to meet some people with their very own mysteries and try to get them talking. KFC have tried to placate me by putting me in this chair and just saying, I don't know, talk to some people. Placate Go do me. Anything. We'll build you a <laughs> set. It'll be, it'll be great. Trust me. From crop circles to secret societies and many other this mysteries. Is so Does it stupid. Stay bucket? Fried chicken solves most problems. All right, fair bet. Let's give it a try. I'm no longer divorced. Then why am I still here? I've been sent to Come try on, and find John. out if these people can find a common ground which leads to the truth. Yeah, I'm sure that's where we're gonna end up. The yep, truth. the truth. Hi, uh, my name is Bitu Thomas. And my title is Non-Believer in Simulation, okay? That's okay. what I go by. You can call me what you want, but that's the official title. I am from East London, and I believe that life is not a simulation, mainly because uh, we are now in a technological phase or something that I personally call a digital era. Whoa! Okay, a digital that era. Yourself? Is that, have you copyrighted that? Call the anthropologists, <laughs> update the lexicons. It's like if you were living amongst like a modern day Socrates, would you uh -huh. know? <laughs> if you were, if Jesus were among you, would you know? <laughs> or would you just like put him on a cross and nail him? There? Like statistically, yeah. You would have <laughs> been crucified. And I believe funny. that in the next hundred years, That's man would find something stupid. else and jump on top of that. Yeah, but what does that have to do with simulation? Yeah, that has nothing to do with. Let's break okay. down what she said here. We're not in a simulation. Uh -huh. We're in the personally coined digital, digital age, era. And man's gonna find something else <clears> to jump <throat> on top of. <clears throat> that proves nothing. Trampoline. That's a proper thesis for non-simulation theory. So I can, like I can get it. <laughs> you guys, can you help me out? What does it mean? What does she mean? Just hurry, because they're watching. They're gonna know. They're gonna see how my weakness. <laughs> they're gonna see my weakness. Uh, my name is Luca. I'm That's too Bristol, real. And I believe that the oh, is a hello. Because look at me. Look at his little pigtails. only come out of like a Bethesda video game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea, 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 Chelsea. He, he totally does. Oh my god. Bucket. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> she said bucket. What about you? A burger. He's a burger man. He likes a burger. Oh, he, he likes, likes a burger. burger. Send him to the fucking cross. Things that I won't like. Oh. Philip or Zinger? So Zinger. 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 What is this? Well, I like a zinger. She's a zinger girl. I guess it's zinger. a KFC zinger. commercial, right? But... Ooh, I'm out of breath from doing. If it doesn't get in the cut, just show it. Just show it here. Yeah. This... That's what I'm out of breath from doing. <laughs> what the hell is that? Here go. But look at my form. Beautiful form, John. If it's in the cut, that's great. But if it's not, I want it here. Fantastic. Look at that form. Bones or boneless? Bones. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand it. Bones. Yeah, she's fucking weird, right? And when I drove her to the patent office to copyright her thing, she kept like doing this weird thing with her lips. Like, <laughs> I don't like her. I eat the bones as well. You what? Eat the bones. You eat the bones? What the you fuck? You don't eat the whole bone, do you? Not the whole bone, right? I mean, you eat the bones as well? 
I do. I, I she... crunch and bite it. <gasps> what the fuck? You can do that? You can just eat chicken bones? I've never seen Is she clowning? Like, she has to be memeing, right? Be like, oh, get into the good part. Get yeah, to the good part. The, um, gristle at the top and that sort of thing, but not the actual bone. Surely not the. I I, I do eat the bone. Okay. I've always eaten the bone. Always. always. What? Read my bone crunching lips. I eat the bone. Uh, anyway. That's. <laughs> that's the end of those questions. <laughs> okay. That's the way this is going. You know, this could very Did they make a giant sugar knows. bone just for that? I am a big believer that <laughs> Darwin's uh, theory of evolution yeah. um, is the right way to go about it. I believe that humans are all part of the survival for the You fittest. could argue Our that that's all part of the simulation, though. Organs that's that not be replicated fighting of against it. And the synapses that it forms every day. Of course. Everything you just said, uh, like everything, all that stuff you just said is also inside the simulation exactly yeah checkmate brainiac. checkmate brainiac you're telling me you seriously fell for the <clears throat> evolution simulation uh does this look like it turns into that a little common sense b2 if you can simulate every single reality and everything you can tell where the stock's gonna go you can tell what country's gonna do what and when they're gonna pour enough money into it that we'll end up with powerful computers that can do the simulation. But that's that's nothing to do with the simulation. That's that would still be outside the simulation. You're talking about making a simulation inside in a simulation. Yeah. This reality, but this is a simulation too, or what you talking about? You talking about anything? Are you talking about anything? I think you he's think trying. You think intelligence are gonna take over? No, but not at all. No, didn't say it. Hundred percent. No. What is this, this bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> no. This is so frustrating to watch. I mean, maybe. AI will not take over because there's a chance we are already AI. You see, the thing with your evolution thing. Oh, monkey! <laughs> I can feel that thing. It's really pissing me off. I'm not gonna lie. And that's exactly what evolution does. That's why we end up with such weird animals like the barrel eye fish, where you can see its eyes through its head. Is that the one with the thing? Is that the one with the thing? Yeah, the, yeah of that's course. The thing, that thing. That's an angle. No, motherfucker. I gotta appreciate that move, though. You're really committed. <clears throat> He's like, we talking about this guy? That's the guy we talking about? No? No? I could have sworn it was this guy. What about emotions like love, hate, disgust? I don't think you can ever get a robot or, you know, anything that's artificial. I don't think she understands emotions. what this oh, is. You can get a robot to hate. It's, it's got to be like the simplest thing. It's like two <laughs> steps. You'll never be a dancer. You're just going to follow in your mother's footsteps. <laughs> You'll never be a dancer. Further, I mean, this thing of emotions and stuff. They're, they the can fuck? be reduced down to just probabilities. Yeah, like if I punch you in the face, that's going to be like a 60% chance uh -huh. for you to be pissed at me. Uh, if I bang your mom, that's a pretty big one. That's like a 93% chance you're going to be pissed at me. Uh, accidentally running over your dog. I mean, that's like a 50-50 because, I mean, I didn't mean to Maybe do Maybe you it. don't like your dog. Right to, um, <laughs> Schrodinger's cat, right? So that's the theory. There's, there's something in a box. It's a cat and there's uh -huh. some radioactive waste inside the box. And until you open the box, you don't know if the cat's alive or dead. And until you open the box, it's both. You go oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it was dead the whole time. Mm. I, I didn't feel it moving for a while, to be honest. Is what I did illegal? Let's go on to the next question. Is the whole universe simulated, or is it just our planet? It's probably just our planet. I mean, based on my best guesswork, what? I brought with me. So what sense would that fucking make? That the I rest of the out. universe isn't simulated, but just us? I mean, I don't even need to say anything. It's pretty obvious. That's like, um, that's like, that's another theory, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Now, brace yourselves, everyone. What? If some, if you can't see it, it's not there until yeah. you want to see it. No. Even if there was a nuclear <laughs> bomb or whatever, there would still be humans hiding in some caves. Or so insanely that incorrect. Able to come out. There's also the the conscience that we have. There'll be somebody there that's good enough to be like, what we're doing is wrong. Oh, mm, I doubt that, bitch. Come here. You're, she's a doll. She's sweet. I can't tell her. Who's gonna tell her? So we haven't had a big world war since 1945, if I'm right. And, mm -hmm. and everything's and been peaceful power, since, obviously. That one didn't age well. It's currently Friday, March 4th. You can see there. So, uh, might be an outdated take by the time this video comes out. Just oh my say god. It. 
Who do you believe is simulating us? <clears throat> if I had to just chuck a guess out there, and this is going to sound totally crazy, there's a thing called carcinization, where life forms from the bottom of the sea, from things that live on beaches to, to things that live in caves, over years, uh -huh. have all ended up being essentially the same thing. That same thing is a crab, a king crab. 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 King crab. King crab. You say crab. What the fuck does that mean? What? Bro, this video is <clears throat> a trip. This is all to sell fried chicken, just so we can remind ourselves. I don't claim to know God's plan, but in the end, I'm just saying I am it. What are you gonna I do? I am this? it. How are you gonna get in here? I'm snipping away, I got a pinch. Sometimes I got one big claw. There's not, you can't even get in here. Animal Royal, touch me. You're gonna be executed by the crab court. You're gonna do nothing. You're gonna do nothing. I know, what are you, what's your plan? I, not what I don't you, understand. Not what, you do. what are you really gonna do? I, I don't. Understand. I can't even. What was he fucking saying with the crab shit? That is it. The end of this episode. Oh, okay. So that's it. That's it. But it wasn't just it. There's another video. Oh. Okay. You know that was more fun. crab. Uh, we're really learning a lot here today, but I still think there's a ways to go. Uh, so how about we do this one? Secret societies. Who's, Who's really, really pulling the string? The string? Oh no. My name's Derek Brahma. I'm from London. Derek Brahma, <coughs> anti-elitist. Anti and I believe that there is a group of people that is controlling the world through the use of technology. What? That's crazy. <laughs> hello, my name is Charmaine. I'm okay, from hello, Australia, Charmaine. And I believe in the power of the Freemasonry secret society and their role in the she move is freaky. towards a one world government, a one world economy, and eventually a one world what religion. The what? Fuck. That's crazy. Aren't they Jesus, talking about? Charmaine is like twice the size of David. Oh my That's god. A woman. That is a big woman. Back there like Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Will Richards, and we are here today with KFC. What is this shitty camera angle? What was that? And you guys have got some strange opinions on. You got some fucked up weird opinions on. What is it again? Hurry up. I got a show to do. Well, it's how technologically people are controlling our lives. Okay. Hey Siri, are you controlling our lives? Hmm. I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? Oh you my god. For anything? Hmm. I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> nah, you're all good. <laughs> I don't think it's technology. And you have something similar but slightly opposing, which is Freemasonry, which seems a mystery, mm. but there's a lot of reality behind it. She's She's freaky. She's really yeah. freaky. Bones or boneless chicken? Definitely bones. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely bones. <laughs> when you're running that accent, okay, it's it's a, it's a fun show. Definitely here. bones. Vision, but I just, some of these people, they feel like they're just. They're they can't be real. They can't be real. No. Oh no. Comments, no Charmaine. Raise your hand if she worked in your school. Holy the shit. The best thing high school gave me was this celebrity link. No way. I this video from a YouTube ad at WTA. Mrs. Pullman. Bro, I remember her from English. I told her I had a nosebleed right in front of her face and she bought me another worksheet. <laughs> no, Miss Girl, my face is bleeding. I don't need another worksheet. A little bit of advice there for you, Mrs. Pullman. She worked in my school and told my partner and me that we were mentally ill for not crying at the boy in the striped pajamas. What the fuck? Wall says, IDK, how you don't cry to that. Maybe just not open to the message. You should be. You should be. be. Okay, you should be. Real. She's real. She's real. Charmaine, verified. Fillet or zinger? Fillet, mm. plenty of succulent meat. What the fuck is happening, dude? I specifically ask for all legs and thighs. Well, there's Eric. nothing wrong with a nice pair of thighs, but no. I am a breast man myself. Based. <laughs> that is not based. <laughs> that is not based. Well, what started to happen was they just started saying it publicly in front <clears throat> of cameras. What we are very proud of now is the young generation, like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, what President of Argentina and so on, so that we penetrate the cabinets. I'm gonna to have to ask you the same question now. What? what convinced you of your theory? 
Well, what started to happen is... They just started to say it publicly in front of cameras. Was your data included in the data sold to the malicious third parties? Yes. We think oh. um, your waffle, there are, there are a few little salient what? points that... Thank you. ...that interestingly They're enough... scaring me. ...connect to my bigger picture. Okay, now that I've heard your little triflies, <clears throat> I can see how it slots into like a smaller version of my bigger version. Yeah, it's in there, but still a bit of a paltry showing, considering you're supposed to be an expert on the subject. <laughs> it's just completely off the wall. Well, I'll give you the answer when the ah. man finishes. Okay. First of all, how dare you? Whoa. Okay. Oh my goodness. No, okay. Seriously, what's going on? Everyone chill out. I've got a gun! I've just seen that he's got the old turn around here. Okay, yeah, the comments check out. You can tell from that little uh, tidbit that she definitely was a teacher. Pull your jacket out. He's. <laughs> She's scary. What the fuck am I watching? That's a nice t shirt, John. This is Tokyo. That's a clown. Uh huh. He's got an all seeing eye, a pyramid with the eye. That is part of one of the Masonic signs. Is so it? He knows what he's doing. <laughs> is it? I don't know what it is he's exactly doing, but he knows what he's doing. I oh, understand. Is it? <laughs> but I got this off of eBay. I don't know what happened. It just came up on my feed, and I thought I have to buy that. He's totally oh, clowning. Is eBay feed. That's not a thing. You're a plant. The Illuminati borrowed some of the symbols of Freemasonry. <clears throat> Pyramid, the all-seeing eye, and the pent... Pentagram. The one you're looking for is pentagram. Because it frightens. Oh, you're not. Right, well, okay, the okay. Pentagram. The penta thing. What? Pentagram? No, 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 no. You're thinking of this. Uh, you're talking about this. Yeah, pentagram. Yes. Pentagram, is that what you mean? Yeah. Yes. So don't ever ask for directions if you need to see the FBI. Wasn't the pentagon named the pentagon because it was a pentagon? No, no, you guys got it mixed up. It's the, it's the star. It's the star one. Oh, no. Well, it's a five sided shape, isn't it? But they weren't okay. going to call it the hexagon, but they ran out of bricks. Okay. <laughs> All right. What are these He's secrets fucking so clowning so hard right you now. Don't worry, I'll wait. This is a shit show. I got a couple of chicken related. That was such a fucking shit show. Oh my goodness. Yes, of course. Use of extreme prejudice would be greatly appreciated. Okay, that was extremely worth the rate. I've never seen anything like that. That was insanely entertaining. I want to watch more of that. I might do so on my own time. Thank you so much, John, for introducing that to the world. Um, yeah, I gotta go edit this now. That was fucking good. <sighs> that was so good. Holy shit. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Watch me on Twitch. Bye-bye.